Okay, it's a Saturday. High school teacher at school with no students needing something to do. I'm gonna try to put together a cigar box guitar. So what I've got here is about a uh, two inch by one inch uh, piece of poplar that's gonna act as the neck. I've got two extra right here. Uh, typically you would use a cigar box. Uh, I couldn't find a cigar box, so I went to a craft store and picked up a couple of wooden boxes like this. Uh, they'll still do the trick. You know, it was a couple of bucks. I think this one was uh, $6, and uh, the one that I'm using actually on this first one I'm making is actually going to be, it was only like $2. Uh, so what I've got here is the neck that I'm working on, and I've just been using using a rasp. I got uh, from the wood shop. You can get it at uh, any hardware store for probably five or six bucks. And what I've done is I've marked off uh, that where the nut and the bridge are. Uh, this is the part where I'm, uh, the tuners are going to go. Okay, and you can see the where I've cut that, and I've I've planed all that down with a rasp. My goal here is to build this thing where uh, I'm not really using any power tools. So this, this rasp, I've just cut and cut and cut. Takes about 20 minutes. Uh, if you have any of these kind of clamps, it's probably the best thing to use because it'll hold your, uh, your neck here really tight. I've also cut this groove out right here. And uh, let me show you what's going on there. So here's the box I'm using for my body for the guitar body and I was trying to take that little bit of warp out of it but anyway what you got here is open your lid up and I've cut these grooves here so the neck is gonna fit right here and then see how that is gonna just fit just like that and then you clamp that down so there you can you can see the makings of what the cigar box guitar is going to be. Okay, I'm still early stages on this. There you can see where I've been whittling the the neck part down. I even used the rasp to curve these edges instead of using a router. I want it all to have a nice polished feel on the back of this guitar neck here. I don't know if you can see the curve that I've given it to try to give it a nice feel. Look at that uh, kind of detailed work to just be using such primitive tools. Uh, you got to get that to fit tightly right there and then you're gonna I'll eventually epoxy that all in place but you want that neck to be flush with the top of that and then eventually later on I'll show you how I'm gonna do the hardware and put the strings on and all that. I uh, bought a uh, couple of these. This is these are uh, either for your nut or for the bridge. And then I'm going to have to chisel out a little groove where I've made that mark. And inset that just a little bit. Put one over here. Put the tuners in place. I picked up a, a couple of uh, guitar tuners at a pawn shop pretty cheap. And I also have this junked out, you can see there, this junked out guitar neck. And I'm, I'm still debating on whether I'm going to pull these tuners out and make it a six string or make it the classic three string cigar box guitar. Most of your uh, classic models that you look at only have three or four strings. Anyway, uh, this is still stage one for me. I'm still trying to shape my neck and get everything functional as far as the, the hardware there, as far as the wood, and then I can move on to actually putting the strings on and, and seeing how it plays.